Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a new Tarkov video. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys another five, like, Tarkov tips. Tips and tricks, if you will. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to get into, real quick, and this is something that I keep, like, seeing in chat all the time. Uh, and I just want to address it now. Uh, and it's pretty important. But guys, stop spending two to 300k modding your gun and then filling it with bad ammo, Okay. See this M4 here? Yes, this is your Sweatlord M4 or whatever. I know it can be better with a compensator, blah, blah, blah. But this is pretty good. This is a pretty good M4. You know, it's very nice. I know I could put the Wave QD suppressor on there or whatever. But here's the thing. You can spend all the money in the world modding a really, really nice gun. Your favorite AK, you know, your favorite, you know, RSAS, whatever, right? If I take this gun and I put M855 into it, and I run into a guy that's geared who has a nice helmet, whatever, the odds are I'm going to lose that fight, okay? You step it up a notch, you put M855A1 or M995 into it, you are putting yourself at a much better advantage, okay? A much better advantage. The fact like that I'm still running into people in raid... Uh, even relatively high-level players, uh, like yesterday, for example, I killed a guy on Interchange who had, like, a an ADAR that was, like, 200, 300k worth of, you know, modding, and it was a really, really nice ADAR, and he had M855 in it. And this guy was, like, level 42 or something like that. So, at least run M855A1s. You could run M856A1s if you want. I don't like them, personally, tracers and all that, and it's not as good. Uh, M855A1 or m 995 does the trick for M4s. Same thing with AKs. If you're going to spend 200k modding an AK, don't fill it with PRS or PS ammo. P invest less into the gun and invest more into the ammo. Run Igelnik, run BS, run BTs or whatever. Don't run PS, don't run, you know, uh, PRS ammo. Like, get the better stuff. I again, if you're going to mod a Val, at least put SP6 into it. SP5... I have had people recently shooting at me with SP5. If they hit your armor, it's not going to do that much to you. Uh, SP6, if they had SP6 in that scenario, they more than likely would have killed me. So that's going to do it for point number one. Point number two, guys, if you're broke in Tarkov, stop selling all of your stuff to the traders. Okay? If you're broke in Tarkov and you survive a raid, you get a bunch of stuff and your normal pattern is to just sell everything to the traders and just not care... Because that's what I do. I do that because I stream. When I'm streaming Tarkov, I don't want to sit here for half an hour and sell every single thing on the flea market. I sell a couple of things that I know sell for a lot more on the flea. Um, but you will make a lot more money selling everything on the flea market. Because the flea market prices are a lot higher than the trader prices are. So if you post all of your stuff on the flea, let's just say, for example, you break this gun down. If you sell all these mods to traders, yeah, you'll get decent money for it. But if you break this down and sell every single piece of this gun on the flea market, you will make a lot more money. So if you're struggling for cash and you want to just invest a little bit of extra time after every raid to sell everything on the flea market, you will make a lot more money. Now, I'm going to hop into raid and I'm going to show you guys the next tip. Alrighty, so here we are on factory. The first thing I'm going to do, we're going to jump onto this and then I'm going to fall down here. Take a little bit of damage. It's going to break one of my legs, but that's fine. Do y'all see that? You can actually cancel the splint animation. So, I'm going to talk very briefly about animation cancelling in this game, okay? Because I get asked this almost every day as well. Like, I'll be healing and I'll cancel it and people go, Whoa, I didn't know you could cancel your heals in Tarkov. That's insane. So, I'm going to show you some quick examples here. So, here's with the Salawa. All you got to do is you press left click and he'll put it away. You can do the exact same thing with the survive kit, but it does take a lot longer to cancel this animation. Now, you can also do this with water. You can do that, put it away. You can do the same thing with hot rod. Crack the can, put it away. You can do the same thing with a slickers bar. Cancel. He just, he just got a whiff of that one there. Didn't even get to taste it. Although, the MRE cannot be cancelled, it seems. It seems to take a lot longer for the uh, the animation cancel to go through. So maybe that's why you can't do it. But, besides that, that you can cancel, you know, meta animations and stuff like that. I'm going to cancel the morphine here as well. You have to hit that one quick because it acts so fast. Now, the reason why this stuff is important, okay? If you're in a fight with a guy, let's just say... Uh, 
Let's get an example going here. Okay, so I come down these stairs. There's a guy over there. You know, we're fighting, whatever. He hits me, and he thinks he's hit me pretty good. What you can do is you can just sit here by the door. You can press heal. He'll hear that. If he hears you healing, but you cancel the animation, you have the upper hand, because he might start sprinting at you. So, in situations like that, using the sounds of heals and then cancelling it, uh, I've done this tons of times, uh, and you can animation cancel on anything, really. Um, you can use that audio to just basically bait people, and I've done this a ton of times. Uh, one example recently, I was in the uh, general store on Interchange, you know, the store with the tank outside and above the concrete ramp. I was sitting in the back there, and I healed, but I cancelled the heal, and the guy came pushing in around the tank thinking that I was still healing, and then I shot him in the face. And then all his things were mine, and he has no insurance now. Um, so yeah. Cancelling to bait people, 10 out of 10 strat. Works very, very well. Works very, very well on shoreline too. When you're fighting in like the hallways with all the rooms and stuff like that, and somebody won't push you, you just keep healing and keep cancelling it or whatever, they're going to think you want to like commit to, you know, getting your full heals off. It's also going to make them think, if you cancel it a couple of times, they might be like, oh wow, this guy's like really hurt. I must have really hit him a couple of times or whatever. Um, and that'll bait people to push into rooms at you, and you can just be standing there holding the door. But you do need to be careful. I've got caught a few times, like I'd start the healing animation, then they'll push me and I'll go, oh, sh I'm probably dead. But you just gotta be wary of that. Uh, next quick thing I'm gonna talk about is lasers. I get asked this all the time as well. It's like, why do you do that, you know, why do you do that with your laser? Like, why do you do this with your laser or whatever when you're holding a doorway or, you know, doing stuff like this? Uh, well, the main reason for it, and it's pretty simple really, uh, cause somebody said to me in chat the other day, they were like, why do you use lasers? Don't they just give away your position all the time? And I was like, well, yeah, if you, if you use them wrong. Uh, so there's definitely a right way and a wrong way to use lasers. Um, the reason why I do this with doorways, if I'm trying to, like, if I know the guy is coming from the right side, but my crosshair is over here on the left, I'll move over, or if my laser's over there on the left, I'll go under the door like that, and then I'll hold it on the right side, and then I can hold it on the door frame here. So when he pushes by, I don't have to move as much to flick over like that. Same if he's coming from the left side. I can do this with my laser, and my laser hasn't been put into the hallway, because if your laser's like this on the hallway, like, you're dead. Because if it was me coming from the other side, I'll go, okay, I can see the angle of the laser, and before I come around here, I'll just... I'll already be pre-firing. I've done this to people all the time, and you just, you have to be, like, the laser is a great tool. It's an awesome tool. It's really great for just helping you get your point firing on point. Um... But what I will say is that if you use them wrongly, they will likely get you killed a lot. But if you use them correctly, then, you know, obviously it'll help you quite a bit. You can also use lasers to bait people. So if you're playing in a duo, you can hold your laser like this, maybe from like a safer place in like the hallway or whatever. Or you've got your teammate holding like a different angle. Then that guy will be like, oh, he's just sitting still in that room or whatever. And then he pushes and maybe your teammate comes out from the stairwell here and shoots the guy while he's pushing you or whatever. So, there's definitely uh, a right way and a wrong way to use lasers, so I would suggest, you know, being careful, not necessarily holding where the guy is actually going to be, but holding, like, a little bit to the left. When you hear him coming, just, you know, you just shoot out a little bit, and you got him. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the old laser tricks. Uh, one quick thing I'm going to throw in here as well. Guys, if you play Interchange a lot, bring a flashlight with you. I've been using a flashlight a ton. I always use the X400 laser combo. If you play Interchange a lot, always bring a flashlight. If people are hiding in those dark stores or whatever, it just lets you, like, jiggle peek them, see where they are. And, like, they're gonna be like, what the, what's that? You know, the flashlight. And uh, more often than not, people aren't used to other players using flashlights. You can really catch people off guard with that. So for Interchange, that's a top tip. Always bring a flashlight with you. Uh, I mean, who am I kidding? Everybody only uses thermals on Interchange anyway. <laughs> Thermal meta. It's so good. Lul XD. Um, so yeah, that is about all of my tips for the laser beams. Uh, hopefully I got my point across there, because I get asked about it uh, a pretty decent amount of times uh, per week. And now, one last thing, and I have said this before. I've said this quite a few times before, but... There's been a lot of patches for Tarkov recently. People have been complaining that their game isn't working great. You know, you're getting a lot of stutters. You're getting a lot of weird bugs and things like that. The best thing you can do, guys, the best thing you can do, fully uninstall your game, clear any history of Tarkov ever actually being on your PC, uninstall. 
install it as best you can and get rid of everything, all right? And then do a full, fresh, clean reinstall in Tarkov. Every time I do this, I do this pretty much every time there's a major patch, and then I'll do it maybe like once a month. Every time after I do that, I always notice the game performs a little bit better. You'll get extra frames. It won't be quite as stuttery. You won't get some of these weird bugs or whatever. So that is my fifth tip. If you are struggling and you haven't uninstalled and reinstalled Tarkov in a really long time, just fully delete it from your computer, completely uninstall it, get rid of any remnants of Tarkov existing on your PC, and then do a full, fresh, clean reinstall. And uh, yeah, if you do happen to do that, let me know what your experience was like uh, down in the old comment section. But lads, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you guys have any tips and tricks of your, uh, of your own that you would like to leave down below, they might end up in the next video. We'll see. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. And as of the time that this video is being uploaded, uh, I should be live on Twitch, I believe. So the link to that will be in the description. I stream pretty much every day at twitch.tv slash tweak. So if you want to come see Tarkov Thangs being done live, I'll see you guys over there. So guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, my dudes.